What is happening? I'm N64 Josh, and this is another content creation tips video. As you can see, I've got a new camera, some new lights. The shirt's kind of freaking out a little bit. I tried, I'm trying, I'm trying here. Make it not too distracting. But we're gonna jump into this thing. I do wanna let you know I do this live on twitch.tv slash n64josh if you wanna come check out a live stream. We play video games, obviously. We make, we make music sometimes. The music you're hearing right now. It's from, uh, it's called Stream Vibes. You wanna use, you want, you want music to listen to while you're streaming? That's not gonna get you a copyright strike? Here you go. There's a link down below if you look up Stream Vibes on Spotify. You can, uh, you can check out the playlist. I'm adding new songs every week. All right, my goal is to have eight to ten new songs every week, so the playlist will be incredibly full and diverse. That's the goal anyway. So, let's jump into this video. I want to talk about streaming on a Mac, because I am streaming on an iMac right now. I'm using OBS. My camera is a Canon camera that's actually hooked up to the Elgato HD 60S Plus, and that's the first thing that I want to talk about. Finally, finally, Elgato has a capture card that works with Mac right out of the box. You don't have to use their software. You do not have to use OBS Link which we're going to talk about in just a little bit. This this capture card works right out of the box. Now, I'm going to move over here. You're going to see it's going to get a little bit weird on your eyes, but don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. There I am. I'm on stream. You're seeing me. Hi. What's up? What's up, everybody? I want to show you some of the settings, okay, for for this card. It's, it's very, very, very easy to set up. You're gonna go into audio, all right? Go into your mic auxiliary audio two and just set it to Game Capture HD 60S Plus, okay? It's right there. Very, very simple, very, very easy to do. And then when you're, when you're building your scenes, you're going to go into video capture device and look, I'm just going to go with a new one. I'll delete it later. Device. There it is. Game Capture HD 60 S Plus, and it just works. There's zero delay with, with gameplay. It is... It's so great. It's so great. I can't... I can't tell you, like... I, I don't have the words, because it's just... It's never been that way before. Let's talk about the Elgato HD 60 S. All right, I'm going to change this back over so that you don't have to uh, see a hundred versions of me. So the Elgato HD6, HD 60S works similar with another piece of software called OBS Link. You can find that on Elgato's website. It does push game audio and video through, but I have a pretty, I have a pretty beefy iMac and it will cause me to lose... Uh, the frame it won't drop frames on OBS but yesterday I had been streaming for a long period of time I don't understand a lot of it but I think there's like a memory bleed or something eventually it starts making the, the either the audio will just cut out altogether it'll lag it'll cut in and out it's it's very obnoxious it's very it, it sucks for the viewers all right and then the yesterday the video just started just started chugging. Here's what's interesting too. When I had OBS link on before I started this video because it comes on automatically, I could hear all the fans in my computer. It was just running much, much harder than it needed to. So my suggestion is if you're running on a Mac, if you're running on a Mac, open up the Elgato software, download the Elgato software, open it up so you can see gameplay, you can hear gameplay, and then in OBS, when you are building your scenes, select display capture and then crop your picture. All right, now you can use the option key to change your crop. You can also, the shift key also. So option allows you to change, like if you don't wanna see your full screen, you only wanna get a little bit of the picture or, or just the gameplay, you can, you can adjust your crop accordingly so it's just gameplay. So make sure you're holding the option button down. Add that display capture. I'm telling people as of right now, until OBS Link gets some kind of an update, just avoid it. Use display capture. Yes, your video quality is going to be is going to suffer a little bit because of that. It's not going to be as sharp. It just isn't. 
There's no way around it. But if it's all you have right now and it's all you can work with, my suggestion is do not use OBS Link. Use the Elgato software and do a display capture with OBS. Okay. So uh, there you go. There's that's what I have to say about the HD 60s. If that's what you're, if that's all you have right now, that's what you're using, and you're on Mac. The other option, if you're on Mac, you can partition your hard drive and run Windows, and the Elgato is going to work a lot better because I do a lot of work within Logic and 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 other Mac programs. I, I want to be full, you know, fully Mac when I'm when I'm streaming. So. Um, my chat is harassing me right now saying that's alt on windows and, uh, suggestion if you're running a Mac don't. So, you know, they're, they're all full of jokes, which is great. That's why I love them. Next up, you got OBS or Streamlabs OBS. They, they both work on the Mac just fine from my understanding. I haven't, I personally haven't used Streamlabs OBS, but I know a lot of people like it. It has some cool features. I'm okay just using OBS. I'm used to it. I have my my stream deck is all set up for it, so that's what I'm running right now, and it it works well. I, I like it. Here's what you need. Okay, this is uh, this is a lot of people wonder how do I get my game audio or game audio is not gonna be as much of an issue now with the Elgato HD 60s. But if you want your desktop audio. To go to your Twitch stream, you have to download a little piece of software called Soundflower. Uh, this is what I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to do all this stuff, okay? I wanna get into this because this is where things start to get a little bit tricky. So, you're gonna download Soundflower, all right? Soundflower just runs in the background. I don't exactly know what it does, but here's, here's what I can tell you you'll need to do. Get Soundflower onto your computer. Next up, when you're in OBS, I just got to double check this setting. I'm not going to make the screen look all weird again. I'm just going to tell you what it is from here. Okay, so here's the setting screen so you guys can see it. The desktop audio, you're going to set that to Soundflower 2 channel, okay? This is so your desktop audio runs to your stream. Now, if you want to be able to hear what your desktop is hearing, you have to set up something called a multi output device. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Uh, hit search on your on your keyboard and type in the word MIDI. All right, uh, audio MIDI setup is going to be the first, the top hit, open this up. Okay, now down here, there's a little, uh, it's behind me, one second. I want you guys to see it. Okay, right here on the screen, there's a plus. You click this plus button Right, and then you sit create. You you say create multi output device, okay? Create multi output device. That's gonna be right here. Now, here is what I have selected for my current multi output device: built in output, Soundflower, and then I also have my Scarlet Two I Two, which is how my microphone is hooked up. If you're using a USB mic, that might be in your. It's probably you're gonna see that in the list. You're gonna want that. Uh, there as well. This is my monitor. I don't need it. Uh, I don't know why the US the the two i two is back again. Drift correction is on. I don't know what that does, but it's on, so I don't mess with it. And then Soundflower sixty four channel. I don't mess with that either. Okay. So now that you have a multi output device, you're gonna go into your sound settings. Okay. System preferences. You're gonna hit sound. All right. For output you're going to choose that multi-output device. That means you're going to hear what your stream hears. Okay, so as long as as long as you have your your OBS is set desktop audio is set to Soundflower, they're going to the stream will hear audio. So if you're playing the music in the background from Spotify, that's how your stream's going to hear that. Also, if you are doing voice in Discord, if you want somebody that, you know, you're doing an interview with somebody or you bring on somebody to play games with you while you're streaming, the only way that your chat is going to be able to hear that other person or people is going to be if they can hear your desktop audio and your desktop audio needs to be set to Soundflower 2 channel. As of right now, this may change eventually. I, there are other softwares out there like, excuse me, like Audio Hijack. I haven't used it. I had a friend who used it. He really liked it. it. I think it's like $50 and it gives you a lot of options 
But if you just want to do it for free right now, you need a fix. Soundflower's free. Just go and, and grab it. I'll try to put a link in the description. It can be a little tricky to find it, so I'll try to find a good link. And then create this multi-output device and set up your stream this way. I know this is a lot to cover, so uh, forgive me if I'm, if I'm talking uh, too much, but I'm trying to be as precise as I can to make sure that you just get get what you need. So, uh, and after that, it's go live. All right. Once your multi-output device is set up, here's the thing: make sure that your Twitch, your your preview is muted. If it's not muted, you're gonna get a crazy echo and be like, "Where's this echo coming from?" It's because your preview on your dashboard isn't muted. I think default is muted now, but when I first started, it wasn't, and it was like people would people would come into the stream and be like, what is happening right now? What is happening? So, uh, make sure that's muted. I think you'll be set up now to stream on a Mac. The Elgato HD 60 S Plus, as of recording this, they're impossible to find because a lot of people have been using them uh, not only for, for, for streaming, a lot of people started streaming during the, during the, the quarantine. Uh, people are also using them for their video cameras. I my camera right now is actually running into the HD 60 S Plus, and uh, but Elgato's website gets them in periodically, and you can get them without uh, having to pay scalpers prices. So um, go check that out. I have one on the way from them that was 199.99. Amazon has them at 189, I believe. I'll put a link in the description, an affiliate link if you want to purchase through there, but. I don't know when they're going to be available. It just says they'll, yeah, it's basically like a pre-order. So, so there you go. It's so much easier now to stream on Mac than it used to be. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's much easier. If you have questions, comments, let me know down below. I can, I can do a follow-up video to this. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.